Hey guys, it's Sarah and today's video is going to be a project pan update. I feel like this past month was kind of a blur, but looking back at where I was with my products last month, I feel like I have made some pretty good progress. So I have used up one thing since last update. Uh, if you watched my last empties video, then you probably already know what it is. Um, and then there are a couple of things that I've actually decided to declutter. So there will be three new things rolled in this month, which is really exciting. So let's go ahead and get into the updates. First thing, this has actually been in this project since the very beginning of this year. Um, it's the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer from The Balm. I really have just been making steady progress on this every single month. You can see I have a lot of lines here, so we're getting down there. Um, I still feel like it'll be a few more months before this is finished, but I really want to challenge myself this month to use it at least 10 times. Last month my goal was to use it 5 times and I actually used it 12 times, so I know I can do that. This is kind of a go-to summer product for me anyway, just because it's so lightweight. I, don't, I feel like my skin can breathe, so um, I don't think it should be too hard. I really do want to start kind of being done with this because I like it but it, we've just been working on this for a long time. We'll see how that goes. Um, another product that I finally hit pan on in my last update is the Physicians Formula Healthy Powder and since then looking back at last month's photo I have really expanded the pan a lot. Um, I really do suspect that this will not be too much longer now that I've hit pan. It's really kind of a thin layer of powder so I feel like we're gonna fly through this from here on out. That's just my prediction. This actually says it expires August 2020, I think that's what it says. So, um, you know, it is good timing to be using it up. I think that's mainly for the sunscreen ingredients in here. I think they have to put an expiration date on it because there's sunscreen in it. But regardless, you know, I want to start using it up. Normally my goal is to use this 10 times. This month I want to use it 15 times. Um, actually, in July I used it more than 15 times, so it's definitely doable. And I just want to push, push myself to make sure that I'm still seeing progress because I want, I want this to be done. I have too many powders in my collection right now. If you saw my last declutter video, then you know I actually decided to declutter my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So let's all just wave goodbye to this one because... I think what I realized is whenever I wear this for some reason it just looks unnatural on my skin and I think what we concluded in the comments of that video is that it's probably an undertoned thing. Like so many people love this bronzer and it's not that I don't like the formula or anything but there's just something about the way that it looks on my skin tone that's just kind of off. I think that this is almost it almost has like a yellowy undertone and I think that I do lean somewhat cool. So I just prefer, I think, more neutral toned bronzers is what I've taken away from this. So knowing that so many people love this bronzer, I know I can find somebody in my life who would take this and love it. Um, I'm not gonna suffer through it anymore. So I did use this nine times this month. <laughs> so I gave it plenty of chances and I would rather just focus on the bronzers in my collection that I do love. So this one is gonna have to go. I feel so much better, honestly, with that decision. And we will be rolling something in its place. A product that I love and I've really enjoyed using, I rolled this in last month, is the Jordana Contour Stick. I love this contour stick so much. It's so good and I'm so happy that I put it in my project pan because now it's like I have, I feel like I have permission to use it all the time, which I don't know, I, my brain is weird. I guess I don't feel as compelled to use things when they're not in my project pan. So putting an absolute favorite holy grail in my project pan was the best decision ever because now I'm getting to enjoy this all the time. While I definitely do want to use this up because it's a cream product and I don't want it to go bad, I'm really not worried about using it up either. Um, I used this a lot. I used this 16 times throughout July and I'm so sad because looking at when I measure it on my little piece of paper where I draw my little tally marks, it, it looks like it hasn't moved at all. But honestly, looking at it compared to what it looked like last month, I do feel like it's worn down a little bit. Probably gonna take a while to really start seeing progress, but that's okay, because I'm enjoying the process of using it. And last month I also rolled in another cream stick product, the Ulta Highlighting Stick in the shade Pixie Dust. This I'm loving as well. I This is such a good highlighter and I'm so glad that I rolled it into the project because I wasn't giving it enough love before then. Um, but I will wear this on its own and then sometimes I'll put it on and then layer another highlight over it and it almost makes the other highlighter pop even more. And I just, what I love about this highlighter is how it's 
there's like no real shimmer in it, but it's just very pearly and just makes your skin look so healthy and glowy and dewy. And I love it. I'm so sad that they discontinued this because I would absolutely recommend it to everybody, but it's no longer sold. Also, not a whole lot of visible progress on this one, but once again, that's fine. Things like this and lipsticks, things in this kind of twist up stick packaging, sometimes they do take a while for you to really start seeing progress, even when you know you're using them a ton, which I guess just means you really get your money's worth with this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with the progress on those, even though it doesn't look like I've made a ton. Another product that I just, just like yesterday, concluded that this is actually breaking me out, so I'm gonna have to add this to my declutter pile, unfortunately, but it's the e.l.f. SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer. I, I rolled this in last month. It's something that I, just based on like the texture and the finish of it, it's something that I really would only want to use in the summer, so I figured now was the time to put it in and start making some progress on it, but I think in the past I never realized that it broke me out because I would only use it like one day and then I wouldn't use it again for like a while, but throughout July, you know, I was trying to use it as many days as I could. I was using it a lot of days in a row and my skin started really breaking out, especially like on my jaw. Like I actually have a pimple right there. My skin was breaking out more than it has in a very long time. My skin's actually been pretty much breakout free for the last like probably the last six months at least like my skin's been in good condition and this I'm pretty sure it was this because this is really the only thing that I could think of that's changed and yeah I'm sad but honestly I'm not that sad because I didn't love this product like it was just kind of something that I felt like I should use and it's nice that it has SPF 50 it gave me a little ex extra boost of sun protection especially in the summer when it's super sunny so yeah I guess putting it in my project pan taught me the lesson that it's just not for me so um, I will definitely try to find someone to give this to who will like it for what it's worth I did make some pretty good progress there so I'm proud of that I used it um, 13 times it took me using it 13 whole times to realize that it was this that was breaking me out because I was using it and then I realized I was breaking out and so I stopped using it for like a week and then my skin went back to normal and then I started using this again and here we are more breakouts so bummer but uh, I'm excited to roll something new in this is another thing that I think of as like a summer product it's the NYX dewy finish setting spray it's very hard to see my progress here because the bottle is a very opaque black plastic so I'm just kind of guessing here but I feel like I'm about halfway down now so it's kind of a small bottle. I don't think this should be too hard to use up. Um, I ended up using this more than I thought I would. My goal was to use this five times and I ended up using it 12 times. The reason why I put such a low goal was just because this does have alcohol in it as the second ingredient and I was worried that that might dry out my skin, but I didn't really feel like this dried out my skin, so I ended up using it more frequently. But the reason why I think of this as a summer product is just because it is very dewy, but it also look sort of dries down and it feels like it's locking your makeup in place so it's something that makes sense for me in the summer when I'm kind of like sweating more I feel like it actually does help with the staying power of my makeup so not something that I would really care to use in the winter when my skin is more dry but right now um, I am really enjoying it so hopefully I can use this up within the next few months all right so then we have this sweet little elf long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow in soiree this has been hanging around with us for a very long time. I've had this since 2015, which is just so funny to think about. That was so long ago. So there is barely anything left in here. There's just like the tiniest sliver. So I really think that this can be done in the next few months if I really put my mind to it and use it. Been using it a lot just on days where I'm not really in the mood to like experiment with a fun eye look. I'll just throw this on, kind of blend it out with some crease shades and call it a day. It's a really beautiful eyeshadow, so I'm loving that. I'm also excited to be done with it though because it's so old and it's been taking a very long time to use up. Another thing I rolled in last month was the Red Apple lipstick in Beachside. I love this lipstick. It's a very kind of glossy, very soft lipstick formula. See, it's kind of lopsided in there. It doesn't look on the paper like I made a lot of progress on this, but I did use this seven times. It is such a soft formula that I do feel like it's one of those things where like you're barely making any progress and then all of a sudden you make a ton of progress. You know what I mean? So 
We will get there with this one, I'm, I'm confident. All right, so the item I used up, this has actually been in the project for only two months and I was able to finish it. It's the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in Token. This is, of course, a mini, so, you know, it wasn't too challenging, but it still took some dedication. I did not take the stopper out. I told you guys last time I wasn't planning on doing that anyway because I just don't like doing that with lip products like this. I feel like they just get so gloopy and messy, so it's just not really worth it, but really enjoyed this. I used it both on my lips and as a cream blush. It was beautiful as a cream blush, and I will miss this color. It's a very pretty color. So now for the three things I'm rolling in, because like I said, I used up that one lip product, and I decided to declutter two things. So I decided to roll in a different SPF primer. I decided to go with the Super Goop Glow Screen. I actually do like this a lot better than the e.l.f. one anyway. I've been using this a ton lately. It really is like a very luminous primer, but it also has SPF in it. So I've just really been loving it. And I feel like I feel like the, the lesson I've been learning this year with my Project Pan is to just give myself permission to pan the things that I love because why not? This is the mini size, this is 0.5 fluid ounces. I feel like I've already used about half of it. I marked it about halfway down, but it is hard to tell. But it is a mini, so I don't think this will be too difficult to pan, but you know, it's still a pretty sizable amount of product in there. So also sort of in that skincare category, well, this definitely is a skincare product. I decided to roll in my the face serum from The Ordinary. I think this is the first actual skincare product that I've put in this 2020 project pan. For the most part it's been all makeup, but my skincare stash has been getting kind of overwhelming. <laughs> um, I don't normally put skincare in my project pans just because normally with skincare I use them up pretty naturally just on my own without intentionally doing it, but I feel like I just have a lot of serums right now and I figured if I put this in my project pan, I'll be more likely to remember to use it. It's kind of one of those products that I really like, but I don't always remember to use it. So we're going to put that in. There's really not a whole lot left, so I feel like this should probably be done within the next couple of months. I think for now my goal will be to use this 10 times. I think that's definitely doable. I'll probably end up using it even more than that, but yeah, I kind of just want to get that moved out of my skincare stash. And then the third thing I decided to roll in, I had a hard time deciding what else to roll in, but I ended up landing on my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad. If you have been with me since last year, then you might remember this being in my project pan last year. After the year was up, I had already hit pan on all the shades in here and I decided to kind of just take a break from it because I've been working on it for a while. But I'm ready to start working on this again. I really do want to use this up and it is such a kind of neutral quad that it's something that I can work into most eye looks, whether it's just this transition shade in my crease or you know the brow bone shade is an inner corner highlight the darker brown as a liner. There's a lot I can do with this to just kind of complement other looks. So it doesn't feel like I'm restricting myself to just one quad because I can use this alongside pretty much all my other palettes. So it feels like a good product to put in a project pan and I really, I really wanna start seeing some more progress on this. So like I said, I do already have pan on everything. I think the hardest shade will be this brown shade just because it feels a little bit harder packed for some reason than the other shades. And also I just use less of that one than the others. Let's see, we have five months left of the year. I guess like five full months, August, September, October, November, December. I feel like it's possible that I could actually use this up by the end of the year. I, it'll be a challenge for sure, but it's, it's not impossible. So I have tried using all of these on my cheeks. Like I've tried using those as highlighters and I don't really like them for that purpose. They're just a little too frosty and they kind of show texture. So probably will only use this as eyeshadow, um, but we'll, let's, we'll just see how I do. So that is how we are doing on my project pan so far. I feel like it's going really well. For a little while, you know, I was feeling kind of defeated deciding to declutter two things. Like I really hate the feeling of giving up, but at the same time, putting, like, I feel like I got the lesson that I needed out of these products. You know, this bronzer taught me to, like, be a little bit more picky about undertones of bronzers and things like that. And this primer just, it breaks, it broke me out. There's nothing I can really do about that. I'm not going to keep using something that's obviously harming my skin. So no, no loss, no real loss. What, what's the expression I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't know. doesn't matter. But anyway, 
pretty happy with where we are. I'm excited to start working on three new products. Um, I think it'll be fun to have a skincare product in there just for, just to kind of switch things up a little bit. So I think that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to see you again soon. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, sometimes also on Sundays. So I would love to see you again soon, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.